Hey guys, it's Belle. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how to make toys for your goats and animals. Please stick around to the end of the video where you will see our goats playing with their new toys. And for now, let's go to the store to get our supplies. Ooh, Peter. I'm gonna bring you that rod and we'll see if these fit. Booyah. That'll work. Pretty swell. In this video, I will be showing you how to make and play with their goats using a ball, a teeter totter, and a brush for them. You will need the end of a broom and three or four long zip ties. You will also need a place to put the broom onto. We used a tree, but you could zip tie it onto a post or onto the side of a shed. Make sure you secure the brush tightly. Seriously, Colonel? We also cut off the ends of the zip ties so that the goats do not chew on them. Obviously, I did not make the ball. I found it outside. It's one of our old dog toys. And I've seen goats, the goats try to balance on things, and so I thought it might be fun for them. But as it turns out, they didn't like it too much, but that's okay. Got me to record? I think you might just be scared by it. <laughs> what are they gonna do with it? <laughs> Get it! Okay, well, I guess this isn't going to be one of the toys. I want them to play with it. We started with the plank and the first thing we did was take three one by fours and cut them into seven foot increments three times. The next thing we did was take the two two by fours and cut them into one foot increments each to use for the back of the plank. Next, we stripped the final one by four in half, and then we cut it into 12 one foot increments so that we would have 12 grip strips for, to help the goat stay on the teeter totter. Then we drilled holes into the strips, and then we screwed them into the three boards. Then we screwed a two by eight onto the back of the plank, and then we used two eye screws for the rod later. Now we will do the base of the teeter-totter. First we will form a T with two two by fours and we will make two T's.
then we will connect the tees with three two by fours on the ends and in the middle. To strengthen the tee, we will add a small two by four on the outside. Then we will add two two by fours cut to a 45 degree angle on both of the tees to form a triangle. At the top of the triangle legs, we will drill a large hole into both of them so that we can fit the rod through later. Finally, the teeter-tatter will be completed after placing the rod through the two holes in the base legs and through the two eye screws in the plank, and then using two washers and bolts to secure it into place. I don't think one of them is enough to tip it. What? If they are on the end. We're gonna like it. 